I think it is precisely correct. People are using it as a political tool on both sides. And right now, in my opinion, the GOP is doing something very dangerous in our country. What is happening is they're using this as a means of getting people upset, getting people angry. Because those Muslims are taking over Ground Zero, the mosque at Ground Zero. And if you go there, it is not at Ground Zero. Go and visit New York City. Go and see Ground Zero. Walk up the street a couple of blocks to where the Burlington Coat Factory used to be. Walk up the street. Go past the Burger King. Walk past all the street vendors that are selling the fake Rolexes. Walk past all the halal food carts by open, uh, run by Muslim immigrants that are selling food to everybody and everybody's eating it because it's mad yummy. Walk by all of that stuff. Walk by the strip club. Walk by the money lenders, the payday lenders. Walk by the, 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 the whatever, um, the, there's a little like pawn shop type of thing, uh, 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 a, a, not a pawn shop, a, a bookie shop. Walk by the place where you make your bets for gambling. Go by the gambling establishment and the strip club to get to the proposed site of the mosque, of the Islamic Cultural Center. And then come to talk to me about hallowed ground. Come and talk to me about hallowed ground. At a certain point, you've got to start to realize that people are playing you. They are playing we, the American people, creating artificial fissures between us. Artificial fissures between us. And they're causing those fissures or enabling those fissures to eat away at the fabric of our American society. And that is wrong. We should be in this together. Newt Gingrich earlier in the week said that, well, the Saudis wouldn't have let us put a, a church in Saudi Arabia. Are you crazy? Is the estimation, the evaluation of American democracy now done in comparison to a totalitarian and, uh, regime in the Middle East? Is Saudi Arabia now the measure of how America thinks about freedom? Are you kidding me? Since when? And, and, and that's what I mean when I say I agree with Governor Christie, also a Republican, who says people are using this for political ends. And I believe that they are. It is irresponsible. It is poisoning our discourse. It is poisoning the soul of our people and of our nation. When I talk about bad food for your soul, this is what I'm talking about. Because right here in America, we should be saying to people, this is a country founded upon religious pluralism. They ain't nowhere on the planet like America. Saudi Arabia don't even come into the conversation. You don't want to hear it. There is nowhere. Not Europe, not Latin America, not China, not Africa, not nowhere like the United States of America. This was founded by people who were pursuing religious freedom, which is why it's the first thing addressed in the Bill of Rights, the first issue before speech, before press, before anything. Freedom of religion. Park 51, the mosque that is being proposed as part of an Islamic cultural center two and a half blocks away from ground zero, should and must be built. And when I see you people up in arms for them to tear down the Burger King and the strip club, then I'll take it seriously. This is the Derek Ashong experience. That's my word. When we come back, we're talking about education because clearly we need some more learning in this country. We'll be back. <laughs>